Just the other day, on August 21st, 2019, a Commodore 64 version of the Atari 2600 Classic Chopper Command was released for free download. It was developed by Antonio Savona, who you will recognize from the Planet Golf and, more recently, Liabe Des Mortes video game releases for the Commodore 64. The graphics are credited to Stephen Day, music by Saul Cross, and the sound effects are credited to Fleming Martins. Again, the game is free and the source code is slated to be released soon on GitHub. The first thing you notice when the game starts up is the amazing image put together by Stephen Day, or STE86, of a chopper flying into the sunset above the clouds. The game's name is proudly displayed along with the colorful Activision logo. With the controller plugged into port 2, pressing the button will advance you to the newly developed title screen. Again, with a larger version of the Activision logo and paying homage to Bob Whitehead along with crediting Commodore 64 developers. The title screen displays until you press the fire button on your joystick to start a new game. Gameplay can be paused by pressing the space bar. I asked Antonio if there were any other options such as two-player mode and he confirmed there is not. Although there was a two-player option in earlier builds. When the game starts, you are presented with a get ready phrase, and you will immediately notice the smooth scrolling parallax view. The improved graphics on the Commodore 64 now include clouds, in addition to the mountains in the horizon scrolling by. For those unaware, this is a horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up. Chopper Command is essentially a clone of the popular Williams arcade game Defender. You control a chopper, which flies horizontally and allows you to shoot enemy ships while you protect your convoy of supply trucks below on the surface. Be sure not to veer too low as you can crash into the trucks. The enemies can fire bombs that shoot simultaneously up and down at the same time. As with the Atari 2600 version, this game also includes a map showing all of the enemy positions, which they refer to in the manual as a long range scanner. The game allows you to continuously hold down the button for rapid fire action. Scoring. Reading from the manual. Each time you shoot down an enemy helicopter, you earn 100 points. For every enemy you shoot down, you will be credited with 200 points. Should you wipe out an entire wave of hostile aircraft, you will receive a bonus calculated by multiplying the number of trucks remaining in the convoy times the wave number achieved, 1 through 10 times 100. You have helicopter reserves. You start the game with three choppers in your fleet. For every 10,000 points you score, an extra helicopter will be added to your squadron, up to a maximum of six. The number of extra choppers appears under the score. I got in touch with Antonio and I asked him what his inspiration was for this port. He said, quote, Initially I didn't have any plans to specifically convert Chopper Command, and I was working on some larger projects such as a guy in a vest and Ninja Blue, but felt like I needed a break. I mentioned to Stephen Day I felt like doing something quick, and he suggested Chopper Command, which I had never played before. He said he would do the graphics, and I totally jumped on it, because STE86 is a legend, and I would have coded anything he wanted me to. I also asked if this game was intended as a one-off, or should we expect to see some more Atari ports in the future? He replied, It was meant to be a one-off, but I enjoyed coding something this simple and self-contained, so I'm already thinking of the next one, or should I say, Steven is thinking. He added, We planned this as a fake unreleased conversion from 1984. I coded it in the style of Activision games of that period. Same for Steven and Saul. Anyhow, I love this game, and it really took me by surprise when I first heard they were working on it. I love the graphics, especially the intro chopper scene and the improved parallax scrolling. I appreciate how they included a title screen giving credit to Bob Whitehead and Activision. And it's just plain fun. The link for the download will be in the video's description. The download even includes an updated copy of the manual. You can follow Antonio over on his Twitter account. Thanks for watching.